Health experts are leaving the CDC and National Institutes of Health in droves. Yeah, one NIH scientist explaining the department has, quote, no leadership right now, and a high-level CDC official doubling down, saying there's been a large amount of turnover, morale is low, things have become so political, so what are we there for? Jimmy Fallon, host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio and Fox Nation, joins us now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Jimmy, uh, one uh, CDC scientist also said, I used to be proud to tell people I work at the CDC, now I'm embarrassed. Oh, oh absolutely. Are you crazy? At this point, when it comes to medical advice, more people trust Dr. Dre than Dr. Fauci. Oh, no. Because this is the problem with the CDC. We haven't discredited them. They have. Yeah. The way public health in initiatives work, okay, is you can't call audibles. In football, an audible is Peyton Manning walks to the line of scrimmage, changes his mind, and yells, Omaha! And they go from a run to a pass. But that's 11 guys that have to keep up with them. This is 330 million guys, <laughs> and they've been yelling Omaha three times a day, it feels like, for two years. So no one's listening. And I, I, I feel for us. I don't feel for them. Because it's their problem. You know, I followed that sports reference. Wow. Connor, you Carly, oh, no. keep it up you. with the group. Hot round, hot round. You know, they say follow the science. It looks like the science is leaving the NIH <laughs> and the CDC. <laughs> Meantime, speaking of leaving, Democrat run cities, the most stressful in the nation. Let's pop up the map. Shocked that New York City's not in the top five. Yeah. We have Cleveland, Ohio, <laughs> Detroit, Michigan, Gulfport, Mississippi, Baltimore, Maryland, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Why, Jimmy? Why? Well, to be clear, New York's not in the survey because they just wouldn't stop and talk to the guy because they're so stressed <laughs> out. They're getting pushed in front of the trade. It's nuts! But you know why. There's two things, okay? And this is where people in what the coastal elites deride as the flyover states, they're the geniuses in this country because they're living that less stressful life. Why? Because there's just less of them. The problem with people is the number of people. I'm not like calling the thin out the herd. This is not me <laughs> recruiting for my militia. We have plenty of members. We just had a meeting. Uh, but no, seriously, there's just so many of us. And then yes, there's just this air of lawlessness. Yeah. If you walk around in New York, it looks like Gotham City before Batman comes, except Batman ain't coming because he's not vaccinated. They're like, sorry, stay in Wayne Manor. You're not welcome here. You travel around the country a lot for stand up. What's yep. your what's your favorite what's your favorite place to go? What's the least stressful city in your opinion? Uh, oddly enough, New Brunswick, New Jersey, yes. the Stress Factory, uh -huh. where I'm appearing this Saturday at uh -huh. seven and nine. That was go good. to the Stress Factory, <laughs> sister. Come you on. set him but, up. You but do you want him but up. do you want to know the last really quick Midwest? Any, anything in yeah. the Midwest? The Midwest is killing. Yeah. It. They're having all the fun, and we sit here in New York and we're like, oh, these dummies in the flyover states. They're geniuses. Nine New Yorkers sharing a studio apartment are making fun of someone who bought a McMansion, they call it. Oh, look at you with your affordable mansion. Right. Yo, they're not the dummy here. Right. It's so funny. Finally, Hillary. Anytime <laughs> I just say that, you know it's going to be comedy gold. And Chelsea Clinton rolling out the red carpet for their new docu-series where they're going to hold intimate conversations with stars like Kim Kardashian, Megan V. Stallion. Um, Dad, what's an intimate conversation? <laughs> Well, I think when they framed it as such, I think Bill did the booking. I think he's like, Kim and Megan sound great. Everything we're ever watching with her is some type of exercise in maneuvering public sentiment so she can possibly run again. It's just, you have to know this about her. She is a political stray cat we fed once, and it's just going to keep coming back to the door. <laughs> oh, no. Keep coming back to that sliding door behind the house looking for another bowl of milk. And that's what this is. I mean, people are circling. You see, like, Newsom going to the White House. You see Hillary running the rehab tour. And anyone who disputes this. Remember this. A year ago, Hillary publicly read the speech she would have given if she won the presidency. People cried over it, But too. that's next-level stalker stuff. Imagine running into somebody you dated in high school and they gave you the wedding vows. <laughs> they would have recited. You would have ran away. And that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. We're supposed to be running for our lives. And, you know, I think this is interesting because she's going to be the one doing the interviews. And she's a really stiff rigid type of pretty gotta shake but it out a little. That's the point. They told they probably told her that, Carly. They took your advice and so we're gonna watch her. Seem more relatable yeah. for twenty four. So what's so hard about being Kim Kardashian? Yeah. Because she's gonna talk like you put a heavy metal cassette in a Teddy Ruxpin. Well, I'm an old school Teddy toy. Ruxpin. <laughs> old school toy. You know, let me tell you, Nation, we just mentioned Teddy Ruxpin. It ain't getting better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting better than any other show. Jimmy Fallon. The best. I'll Thanks, see everybody Jimmy. Cabbage Factory. Patch Kids next Go to the week. Stress Factory Go if you're the in the Tri-State area. Thank God. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.